All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation. And for today's video, we're going to be going over some brand new updates to the game of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. All right. So for today's update, uh, they recently just made an announcement that we knew was coming. We just didn't know when. Uh, they, they accidentally leaked it yesterday. And I meant to, or at least I, I was trying to make a video about it but by the time i went to make the video apparently they had taken the notice down so i wasn't able to make this video in advance but now it's here and i want to quickly go over it with some of you guys because it's honestly fairly interesting um i i don't understand what process they chose to do some of these updates they don't make too much sense um okay so essentially, if you don't know, a majority, if not all, of the currently existing Supernova Plus medals within the game have had their strength increased in order to match current medals uh, strength that have been released. So, okay, so even uh, old medals such as like, you know, Supernova Plus Sephiroth and Key Art 19 and stuff, like really old, you know, starting off Supernova Plus medals are have been upgraded as well okay now the main thing that i found when looking through this is like how a little bit all over the place the strength upgrade upgrades are for some of the metals like for example okay you have uh brand new metals such as like or super brand new supernova plus upgrade metals such as like illustrated cloud uh illustrated sora illustrated aqua and stuff and they would receive about a 5,000 strength increase, okay, um, between their original and what they are now. However, and then you have metals such as like Supernova Sephiroth over here, who just, they gained like a 10,000 strength increase. I'm just like, what? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make too much sense. Um, so it's like I'm here thinking that okay maybe maybe they chose to give them more recent medals less of a strength increase and older medals more of a strength increase. But then by that logic, why the heck is Supernova Plus HD Terra Ventus and Aqua? Why did they barely receive an upgrade? Like they're only at twenty six thousand strength, whereas Sephiroth is at thirty thousand strength and it, it doesn't it, it it's it doesn't make too much sense from how i see it um i don't know why they didn't just keep all the strengths relatively the same it doesn't make sense <laughs> it just seems a little bit all over the place uh but anyways disregarding that the main metals to keep an eye out are going to be ones that got either the biggest upgrade or the ones that you know have the highest amount of strength so as of right now the ones with the highest amount of strength are metals such as uh blitz form sora okay i'm looking for the ones you want the metals that have at least around twenty-eight thousand or higher strength are the metals you want to be interested in okay because that's that's kind of like the new base strength uh for a decent metal that you want to start focusing on okay so both youth and white and youth and black get really decent upgrades they're at twenty nine thousand strength which is really good because they're especially youth and white because youth and white is the is the is the next necessary turtle metal in order to fully turtle uh now because he can debuff uh psm strength uh repeatedly he can stack it it's not overwrite so that's really good, uh, but they're both, but they're both really good power metals right now. So that's one thing to make note of. Uh, scrolling through, we have Key Art number twenty, which also received a really nice upgrade. Received a five thousand strength increase. It has thirty thousand strength now. That's another one. Uh, F the FFRK medals, the Supernova Plus Lightning and Sephiroth FFK FFRK medals. They got really nice upgrades too at 29, 30,000 strength. So they're viable as well. Um, Supernova Plus, Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas is viable. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Young Xehanort. Or, no, that's not it. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's, he's kind of viable too. 
Let's see. Uh, I'm looking for the most notable ones, though. Let's see. Sephiroth, of course, is viable now, uh, especially if you already had good traits on him. Let's see. And I think that's, for the most part, the, the ones that stand out the most are those select handful. Um, so what was it? Like, Blitzform Sora, Youth in White and Black, uh, key at number 20, the FFRK Lightning and Sephiroth, and Normal Sephiroth as well. Okay, those are the most notable upgrades that you'll probably end up seeing the most success with. So, that's it for today's episode, or update video. I just want to quickly let you guys know about this and give my thoughts about it. I, I don't understand the process they chose to go about choosing these strengths. It, it seems kind of, I don't know, it, it, it feels a little random, but whatever. Nothing I can do about it. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. Go ahead and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. My name is Brian from KX Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.